Hello everybody, this is the very first time I have pressed record on the 360 degree camera which I purchased today. I don't know if I've set it up correctly, I don't know if it's recording, I don't know if it's going to be right, I don't know if I'm holding the camera the right way. I literally don't know, this is the first time and you're going to see it whether it's good or bad and if it's bad you know that things can only get better. But if it's good, you know the things are going to get sensational once I learn how to use it correctly. The, the bit I don't understand about this camera is that I can hold it, apparently, uh, any way I want. Upside down, to the ground, to the sky, whatever. And it's still going to film and do what it's going to look like if the camera hasn't moved. How that works, I, I really don't know. Come on, Bill. Now, I could have read the instruction book, but who reads instruction books? I literally just want to press record, go home play it and see what I've done wrong. I like learning that way. If you sort of like read an instruction book, your brain gets sort of like bombarded with, you know, do this, press this, do this. I like to just turn things on, then have a look and go, okay, this particular thing I got wrong and then only concentrate on what I got wrong. Um, I don't know if the wind's going to pick up on the camera, it's very windy. Apparently this camera has six microphones. That's crazy. And yeah, apparently it's got stabilization. Apparently you're not going to see the stick that the camera is on. That somehow magically disappears. How I, again, don't know. It's a whole new world for me, but I did always want to film in 360. I think 360 has a place and I think 360 is going to become bigger and bigger and bigger as the years go on. I, I know 360 hasn't really taken off yet, but the tech companies must think it is going to because they've been pumping out 360 cameras and technology for years now, for years and years, rather than just saying, okay, we give up, no one's interested. And I think it's going to take off because the technology of it's now getting very good. Um, like my very first 360 camera, if you look at my channel, the video quality wasn't very good, but the, uh, the viewer perspective or, you know, the watching of it was not very good either because I always had to hold the camera steady and level. With, with this one, I don't have to. Um, but not only did I have to hold it steady and level, I had to walk the same direction and keep the camera pointing in the same direction otherwise if I turned you as a viewer turned um, uh, and if I kept moving my arm uh, you as a viewer saw that and it was a very uncomfortable unenjoyable experience but apparently with these new 360 cameras that isn't the case uh, apparently I can um, I can turn I can point it any direction I want I, I can do anything and then apparently when I upload it and edit it, I can say, okay, well, I want the camera to point this direction. And it will just point that direction. But we will see. I, I haven't even downloaded the software yet for, for the editing, so I've got no idea what it does. I looked on YouTube for videos, but all of them are pretty much either unboxing videos or... Uh, um, you know, this is the footage we took, but they don't actually show you the ins and outs of it all. The, the simple man's video is what I'm saying. You, you don't sort of get that. And uh, I don't know why. I think it's because 99.999% of YouTubers get the, the, the cameras and that for free, which I didn't, of course, because I'm a very small YouTuber. And so because of it, they're just sort of like, oh, I got a free camera and I'll do the most basic of videos and I'm not going to upset anybody and I'm not going to go into great detail because all the company wants me to do is to say, come on, Bill is to say, oh, I've got this camera, and it's good. Let's unbox it. Oh, look, you get the camera. Oh, you get this. Oh, that's it. They don't go into the, okay, now we've recorded the footage. We've had to do these settings, and then we've had to upload it, and then uploading has been a pain, and then when we've tried to edit it, we've had to do this and this and this, which is really confusing. Or we have to press these buttons. People don't do that on YouTube, unfortunately. The reviews or videos that people put out are kind of um, all the same. And I know there's some little YouTubers that would have done videos, but when you do the YouTube search, as you know, it comes up with all the big YouTubers, pages and pages and pages and pages of them. And you might find the little YouTuber with a really interesting 
good video or truthful video or honest review that's you know pages and pages and pages into your search and by that stage you've sort of like not interested because you've looked at a billion other videos that have all been the same come on Belle but I have always liked the idea of 360 degree video because uh, I well especially when I started going to Japan I did because 99.9% .9 of people that I know have never been to Japan it's completely off the radar to them they they knew nothing about Japan like I knew nothing until I went there at which point I bombarded them with lots of Japan stuff going oh my god isn't this magnificent and they were like mm, yeah but I would always say to them I'm not explaining it to you fully I wish I could show you what I'm seeing because when you watch a normal video you watch that you know that little bit of the screen but there's stuff happening over there and behind you and above you and over here that you want to show the viewer and you just can't do that with a normal video unless you're just moving the camera like this and again it's an enjoyable viewing experience whereas with 360 if you want to just watch like a normal video straight ahead you can if you're not interested in what's going on you can just look at it and have an enjoyable experience looking just straight ahead like a normal camera view but if you are interested, like if I walk past something and go, oh my God, you know, look at that. You, through your own doing, your choice, the interactivity of it, you can turn the camera and go, okay, I want to have a look. Or I don't. Or I want to look the other way. Or, you know, oh, Mark's walking past something and he never told us about this, but it looks good. I want to have a look. So that's the idea of 360. And that's why I like the idea of 360. Come on, Bill. That, um you control the video i walk with the camera i talk a lot as i usually do but at the end of the day you control what you want to see it's kind of like in the old days before they had all these cameras when i was at school we used to have the choose your own adventure books and i loved them absolutely loved the choose your own adventure books brilliant things they were well 360 degree video is like the modern version of the choose your own adventure also in the extent that like um i try to tell you the things well that i'm interested in like i might walk past a tree and go oh my god look at that tree but that may not interest you yet this structure on the right hand side that i'm walking past now i may say nothing about it but you might like it so you can literally go well i'm going to have a look at that Mark hasn't mentioned it, but I'm going to turn the camera and have a look at it.